So this is an idyllic picture of a new heaven and earth, a new society on earth. And the Lamb and the Father are going to constitute the temple. There'll be no temple as we know it now, a, a little local building. That will not exist. There will be, however, a huge new heaven and new earth. But the God and Jesus are quite clear. God is the one God, the Father. 1,300 times in the New Testament, the Father is called God. Do we not all have one Father? Don't we all have one God, they said in Malachi? Of course, one God, the unitary monotheism. And then the Messiah, who is not God, but the Son of God, will be there. And so it's a distinction that is always true. God is never Jesus. God is always the Father. Jesus is never the Father. Not the same person as his own father. He is the unique son of God. Of course, his origin is in the womb of his mother, Mary. But I think the difference between God and Jesus is the same in Revelation as it always was throughout the whole of Scripture. Yeah, I mean, okay. it's not a lamb. And, God is not uh, a lamb. Good. Good obviously point. Obviously, God is not a human person. And God was Absolutely. not dead. And God was not raised from the dead. So those good markers... Right. Uh, you can take yes. to the bank, as they say.